Hi, in this video we're going to show you an easy way to share an email via a URL link. So maybe that way if you want to share an email within your messaging app, let's say you're doing a Teams meeting or Zoom meeting, and you just want to paste in a link to the email rather than having to forward it to a bunch of people, you could use this. Or maybe you want to forward an email using a different email address, because obviously if you just want to share an email, you could forward it to somebody, but this has some other applications that you could use it for. So we're going to be using a free extension called Share Emails Via URL Link by CloudHQ. So CloudHQ has a lot of extensions and add-ons for uh, Chrome and Edge and also for Gmail. And if you make a free account with them, then they actually give you a way to manage all of your apps in one place, which is kind of nice. Okay, so once you install the extension, it's just like anything else where it'll show you what permissions it needs. You'll have to grant this app access to your Google or Gmail account. So as long as you agree with the uh, permissions it's asking for, you can go ahead and install it. And then once you install it, you'll have a little icon here in your sidebar in Gmail. So we're going to share this email here. It has some text. It has a link with a preview. It has some attachments. It has a little signature image. So we're going to click on this. Share emails via URL link. Okay, create shareable URL link. All right, then I'm going to click on share the link. It's going to open up another page while it creates the shared link. Okay, kind of gives you a preview of how it's going to look. Then you just copy it to your clipboard. And now we're going to forward this off. So like I said, if you're maybe using a messenger app, you could just paste this link right in there and share it with however many people you like, and then they'll be able to open it without having to get the actual email, but we're just going to share it via email just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to send this off to Cindy. Just paste in the link, send it off. Okay, then we'll have to go over to Cindy's email and see how it looks on the other end. Okay, wait for it to come in. All right, there it is. So as you can see, it's just the link. It didn't forward the actual email, just a link. So you just click on the link. And here it is, the whole email with the included link, the website preview, the signature picture there, and the attachments will be up here under the attachment section. So you can just click on each one, open it or save it, just like any other type of attachment or file you download from the internet. And that's all there is to it. All right, so like I said, just open the email you want to create a link for. Click on the Share Emails link here. Click on Share This Link. It's a little bit faster that time because I'd already shared it the first time. Then just click on Copy to Clipboard, and then you can send it off via email or Messenger or any other way you want to share the link. All right, so I'll put a link in the description uh, where you could download this add-on here. Here it is. And then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.